Billions of microscopic beings are trying to get inside you and use your body for lunch at this very moment. Our delicious, nutrient-rich, moist, meaty selves serve as great resting places for many diseases to raise a family in. But it is not our job to give them a free ride. So in such a germy world, how are we not all just dying? Well, our immune system protects us, and through mastering its awesomeness, we've produced vaccines. Using vaccines, we've successfully controlled multiple diseases, such as smallpox, tetanus, and measles. And the more people vaccinated, the more controlled the disease is, making things safer for everyone. But some people believe vaccines cause autism, asthma, or even death, and they don't get vaccinated. The reason these fallacies exist is a lack of understanding about what vaccines are and what they do. To understand how vaccines work, one must first know the basics of the immune system. And there are two parts to this. Your innate and acquired immune systems. You were born with your innate system, and it's composed of your skin, mucous membrane, and white blood cells called phagocytes that basically just kill everything foreign that enters your body. But what we're going to be focusing on today is your acquired immune system. The second you are born, you start to build up this system by collecting and storing data on things you encounter, whether that be bacteria, viruses, or toxins. These foreign substances contain large signaling molecules called antigens, or antibody generators. Now, antibodies can't actually kill anything and are just specialized proteins that bind to pathogens, blocking their binding sites, preventing them from infiltrating any cells, while also serving as tags that tell phagocytes to come eat the bad guy. Your acquired immune system is composed of the humoral and cellular defenses and contains specialized white blood cells called lymphocytes. The humoral system covers your body's blood and lymph and is patrolled by B cells and aided and regulated by helper T cells. Every B cell has its own unique membrane-bound antibodies which detect specific antigens. Once a lucky B cell bumps into a pathogen displaying its specific antigen, it devours it and displays fragments of it on its membrane. Helper T cells recognize these foreign antigens and bind to the cell, where they then release cytokines to warn other cells that something is wrong, and fully activate the power of the B lymphocyte, which then starts to make new cells. Most of which become short-lived effector cells, which pump out antibodies like crazy. The rest of these cells become long-lived memory cells, which float around the body, leaving you primed for a quicker and stronger secondary immune response in case of re-exposure. So we learned that vaccines contain attenuated pathogens that trigger an immune response, but don't cause any harm, which trains your body to respond more powerfully on the next encounter by producing memory cells, which protect you against disease. It's science and it works. So parents, if you want to protect your kids, get them vaccinated. I'm Brennan Siebert. I hope you enjoyed my video and maybe learned a little something too. Thanks for watching.